sons, yes. voices. Um, can you tell me some more about Mr. Gray? Um, basically, real name is Michael Gray. To start with, um, I've been rapping for three years now. Well, I think it's a little uh, four years or seven. Basically, started through listening to um, a lot of Tupac and stuff, and that is actually developing also. Okay. Right now I'm working on the present album, Negro Music, through Mystic MG, which is due for um, September 11th, summer. Um, this is the pre-release I have right now. I released it at the recently concluded um, in Queen show on um, Black Pearl. Um, so far it's good. Um, I have like 50 or 60 CDs that I have out already. Okay. You know, and they only release Sunday and people are requesting them. And, you know, they're going, going hot, they're hot. So. Everyone feeling the vibe, like the energy so far. Tupac is a very deep person for you to be influenced by. What what, what would have Tupac that would have? Because right, for me, he had a story. Mm. He was more like on a mission, right? He just ain't rapping for the money or for the fame, but he was more out to like advocate, you know. And he was real too. So it's like being like. From the outside, it was more like a dancehall person. So you only used to get to hear like a one-off, two pop when they hear it on the radio or whatever. So as soon as they got in access to the internet and stuff, and what's up and thing, they just like logged in and tried to get as much as the music and buy the CDs and stuff. So it's like, after hearing him, he always used to be against certain things and like more being a free spirit and openness, more against the certain pressures and stuff in the world that used to try and put him down and thing. You know, see, he never used to hate, he used to be real and be him, which is key to be you. So you can identify with that, that experience? Yeah, because I mean, in most cases, you, you find yourself in like, I wouldn't say unfair circumstances, but as if the system is a little bit injustice. The injustice as far as like, coming from certain areas and being a certain person. You get me? So, it's more about doing you and that's what he used to be. It's the end. Yeah, you spoke about the, the, the Ramistic. Tell me something about, about the CD. Well, the CD, this was designed by uh, Snapper, the JD1 family, you don't know. Um, he did all the graphic work. The name Ramistic, it comes from uh, my name, Mr. Graham. The GRA is obviously from the Graham, and the Mystic is from Mr. So there's a lot more with creativity and stuff. Um, the tracks featured is Getting Paid, which I'm shooting a music video for right now. Um, that was produced by Jack Wall, the Ashmore Studios in UK. Uh, Rock Steady Baby is um, me featuring Fountain Mandel and Capone. Um, Capone is the manager of GF1 as well. Um, that's more reggae vibe. Uh, Island Queen was a song that I did for um, like promo the Island Queen show and stuff. Other ways than that is also a song for, for the ladies, all the girls from any island in the world, you know, other than Caribbean. Basically, the promoting, you know, the uplifting. No matter who you are, you are like the color you are, the island queen. So, this is the pre release, as I said, your favorite album is for Sonic. So, right now, these are just going out to give everyone a taste and, you know, get saturated a bit of who Mr. Graham is on, what they're doing, how you're playing. Do you want to tell me about um, an MEBD magazine about yeah. some of what you've done in terms of performances? Uh, I have performed uh, on the DNA Showcase, um, at the whole thing, performed with Joe Jackson. Um, this is another Jackson song? Yeah, I made it up. Yeah, when he was here to receive the, the award, the award, the album, yeah. right? Yeah, Fantasia Zerino, my girl manager, my name is. There were actually an article when Jameer mentioned that um, Joe Jackson's comments to me. This was when I first started to say that it would make me listen to rap and this was when I first started to hear rap and stuff. This was when I first started to say that it would make me listen to rap and stuff. This was when People like, obviously some people friend he could have just said that they just because, right? He was just here, but I mean, at the end of the day, he said it. Yeah, I can remember something for you, but I think I remember something to do with something back. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, also, um, Fanta J. Bolinas, my was telling me that he likes my music, he likes the vibe, and that to comments that he told me, I don't forget, so don't let anyone else become an original person off me. Okay. You know, so it's all with the 
So what what made you see it take you? I know you were having a dream of being an international one, but you're confident that the sound is international? Pretty confident. Um, so far, me, they try to be more humble than anything. So the energy I go off is the energy that comes in from the people that support me. Right? We have the friends, family, um, GAD1 family for sure. Um, uh, we don't like to call people that support me fans, but you know, it's like we are all we, you get me? So, as you support me, support you, you know? So, so far, I've been getting a lot of good feedback from all, from everybody. Um, a lot of people like the game play song. I've been hearing about the club once or twice. Actually, this song was first released in Canada um, on 88.1 FM. Um, this was just like two or three weeks ago. In Canada, I also have a little bit of a media going on in Atlanta because they need more stick on the soul, rapping and stuff. But I try to stay in that versatile bracket where they can flow on anything. Before I ask you about the shirt and whatnot, um, you know, you, you spoke about not sticking into one bracket, but you don't, you're not going to define yourself how you, you don't want to define yourself as because you're talking about hip hop, you're talking about dance, yeah. uh, reggae, right, yeah. or, right? And then yeah. you're, uh, you're like, yes, it's a song about love is rock thing. Yeah. You know, you, you're, not, you're not restricting yourself, you're not. No. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I'm actually with the help of the JD1 family that's LRG. Snapper, Mr. Levi Capone, Celebrity Face, Familiar Face. Everybody is helping me because in JD1, it's only me and Snapper that the main rappers. And even Snapper now going over to the side now, even the more where I get that soul and beige and that soul vibe. You know, so it's being with LRG and DC here that, that helping me how to harp and harmonize my music and more bring out a, a more melody and a more vocal instead of rapping. So I'm slowly going over to the reggae vibe, but just working on it. Right now, you also write soca, you know, so it's a lot about being versatile because they just don't want me known as a rapper, they just want me known as a musician. So I'm actually starting to learn TV and stuff now, and yeah, beats and all along that line. How about the shirt now? It's an impressive song around the yeah. stick you make with the shirt. Give an idea into the back and how that is commercial part of something that you're doing there? Well, the shirt is on GH1. Straight through and you're all working back. Um, this is my logo on Mystic MG. Um, with that GD1 right now, we deal with um, shirts, prints, um, posters, banners, anything along with that graphic art stuff. You know, so, right now, we won't wear our own clothing. Straight through. Um, we do a lot of work like the Reggae Festival, we'll be sponsoring that. So, all the clothing that you will see at the Reggae Festival. With any reggae uh, festival for anybody fast and the team and representative will be working with the GAD1. Um, and right, and the staff of the right, club and stuff. So, so you're mixing, you're, you're marrying the your music with yeah. the, the brand with the side of the clothing, yeah. right? Clothing, right? Because GAD1 is a split in half. Like, we are all one family, mm -hmm. right? But we have the commercial say where we work, we do deal, we deal our prints and stuff and our shirts and whatever it may be, like we wear the ads, putting on shows and events. And then on the other side, we are all artists, you know? So, as they call it, artists before LRG, Final Point, Snapple, Capone. So it's like, we break down the work. We work when it's time to work, and at night, we perform. We go, you know, this, we have a good thing. So, um, where you'll be next year in our agenda? Where you want to place yourself next year? How old you are, by the way? I'm um, 21, just turned 21. Okay, so you want to be next year, it's only a year ahead, but where you want to be next year, four years from now? Yeah. Well, next year, four years from now, I, I will move my train the next year. You know, um, once I have life, I will see myself in a, in a better position than I am right now because I'm still building, I'm still moving to get to that level. You know, so uh, right now I'm going about trying to uh, like, see how the distribution deal. Um, so by next year, yeah, we'd like to be more on the mainstream. I want to sing, so to speak, but if I'm saying like on my own terms and stuff, but, uh, for me right now it's GAD1 straight through. So if we can make it happen with GAD1 and not need a major, you know, we do it here because they think I'm good enough to push me on stuff. 
know, but he deserves some more um, assistance. And if that were supposed to get me to big record levels and stuff, then get there, get there. But so far, so good. I'm cleaning up. I have Canada, Atlanta, and planning to take a trip later on this year after the release to go in the States and more push the album. Finally, the show, that's the strange um, name that we have, that's your real name, no? Yeah, that's my real name. Right, um, you want to tell me what, what it really means? Um, alright, that name um, is actually, I think that's Hebrew, or oh, sorry, Babylonian Greek. Um, it is from the four Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So uh, when they went to Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is Greek. When they went to Babylon, um, the book has changed the name from Greek to um, obviously his language. So they became Hananiah, Azariah, Michael, and Abel, Chazar, who is Daniel. So basically, the name is obviously the story for Hebrew boys who walk with fire and stuff. The name means more like God or um, Father Giver, you know, that, that sort of way. Comfortable with that. Because it actually reflects on me. It shows being funny, not the meaning of the name. Um, actually, I realize that like, I find myself getting on the certain names and starting to make sorry, the right decisions. You know, and obviously, the father, he wants to have a, a pivotal role in my life, too. So. Great, great, great. Um, I should say, mix the brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. That's it. Yeah. Just want to say a big shout out to Fancy City TV for making this possible in here. I will miss you. It's pretty documentary too. JD1 family, um, LRG, Snapper is CEO, Kaboni manager, Mr. Levi, or the hottest track right now, Penton. Um, celebrity face, familiar face, Phantom Dandy, NRG, JD1 Spice, and everyone is probably in it, it may have slip up. You don't know all the DJs and everyone are locking it down, but for sure, upon the scene TV. Also, Jason Bennett and one little friend. Making things happen with the big music video that I will be dropped, getting paid. Coming to you soon, Mr. Green. At the beach, why you, why you hating if you won't speak? Shorty come, shorty go. She remind me every day why the sun glow. She keep my swag up, dressing in the hottest clothes. I keep her moving just like my cat. I'm just born. Great crew. Yeah. Everybody got this tight space shirt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you want to make a better shirt? Mm -hmm. These say we buy eight shirts. Mm -hmm. And you present these eight tights, you uh -huh. get a free shirt. Yeah, it's quite a quite a catchy um, commercial. Yeah. 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 Yes, you don't know Rockman here, CSI yes, Entertainment and Association and Conti CTV. We got Waldo and VR Entertainment full time. And I tell you, it's all about be agents to the world, be agents to the universe, be agents of peace. But here's what we do, we put the culture over there, be agent culture.